In this ProCare training video, we are going to take a look at the chart of accounts in the ProCare system configuration. The chart of accounts equates to what is known as the accounting equation and should be standard in most accounting software. We will also cover how to enable current assets from the chart of accounts and make them bank accounts in ProCare. We will then examine four basic account assignments and how to set up general ledger dates. This will give you the foundation to understand how various descriptions that are used in the ProCare desktop program will map later to the different aspects of family data and accounting, payroll, and expenses and ledgers in accounting reports. So from the ProCare home screen, I'm gonna come down to this menu and click configuration. And I'm gonna click system. And these four Headings, I'm going to go to Accounting Management. And the first item, because it's the key item in the ProCare Desktop Accounting, is the Chart of Accounts. So what is a Chart of Accounts? It's an organizational tool that provides a business with a breakdown of all the financial transactions that a company conducted during a specific accounting period, broken down into subcategories. Basically, companies use a chart of accounts to organize their finances and give interested parties, such as an investor or a board, a clearer insight into their financial health. At the top of my chart of accounts, you'll notice I have five tabs, one labeled assets, one liabilities, one equity, one revenue, and one expenses. This is what's known as the accounting equation. So assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So what about revenue and expenses? So those come in the expanded equation, which is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity plus revenue minus expenses. Revenue minus expenses are what some companies refer to as retained earnings or in ProCare, they're known as profit and loss. Let's take a look at the chart of accounts in the ProCare desktop program. You'll notice here I have several different headings, current assets, credit cards, other assets. I can create another new heading if I want to here, and then click Save. Underneath these headings, if I click this plus, these are the GL numbers or subcategories of current assets. Here you'll see my first current asset is 900 undeposited payments. This is specific to the ProCare desktop program. When we get to family data and accounting, we'll explain more how the 900 undeposited payments is used in reference to deposit reports. So under current assets, you'll see I have my primary checking account. When a customer first starts with the ProCare desktop program, they're set up with some generic labels, but they can change these to anything they want. I could change this to Chase checking account. I could also put my last four, my account number if I wanted to, or if I click up here, I can add another current asset, like another checking account. So the account number is not a value. The account number is a placeholder and has to be unique. So if I try to make a new chart or GL, I'll get a message that is currently in use. So every account key and every account name has to be unique. But a business can add as many current assets, as many credit cards. They can enter any number they want to. They can enter an account number starting with 9,000, but it's under assets. So it will be considered an asset. In most accounting software chart of accounts, assets normally start with a one or 1,000. Liabilities start with a two or 2,000. Equity, normally starts with a three or 3,000. 
revenue with a four or 4,000 and expenses with a five and 5,000. But a business is not limited to those numbers. They can configure their chart of accounts any way that works for their business. The chart of accounts will become important when we do training on other modules or parts of the ProCare desktop program, like expenses and ledgers and payroll. The one tab that most businesses will go to to add more or change is revenue. So these are some basic revenue account numbers and descriptions that are entered in by default. If a customer is utilizing the expenses and ledgers and wants to generate specific financial reports, like an income statement, when we look at the family data tab and look at how to configure charge credit summaries, we'll see how we can increase or make more chart of account descriptions to break up our descriptions when we see them in financial reports. So in my chart of accounts, you'll notice some of these items have a lock on the right side. That's because this is a SQL database. So this particular description has been used somewhere in the database and is locked so it cannot be deleted. You'll notice this particular account number does not have a lock, so I could delete it if I wanted to. If I change the name of one of these descriptions, it's going to change the name for everything in the database going forward and going backwards that has 4,000 tuition on it. So if something is locked, you may want to create something new instead of modifying the name. If there's an item that's not locked, that means it's not in use. So you could just change the name to whatever you want. So if I enter a new account number and account name by default, and in every module similar to this one in ProCare Desktop, when you add something new, it drops it to the bottom of the list. But what I can do with these arrows, I can highlight and move it up or I can move it down, or I can highlight this and move it up and move it down. In the chart of accounts, I also have the ability to move an account number and account name to another heading or section under assets. I cannot move it to another section like liabilities because it's not a liability, it's an asset. So if I click this move, if I wanna move the checking account, to credit cards, other assets. I just click on it and select move. I want to move it back. Current assets, select and move. Under chart of accounts, you'll see bank accounts. Double click on bank accounts to open it up. In the ProCare desktop program, this is where you select your assets that you want to be checking accounts or bank accounts in the ProCare desktop program. If I click up here in the white box, you'll notice this is a drop-down list of my assets. And I choose, if it makes sense, which GL account or which asset I want to make a bank account. Obviously, this makes no sense, so I would either delete it or change it to something that makes more sense. So if we are using, or if you're using check numbers, I can enter the last check number that was used, or I can make this a checkbook and that we'll cover more when we look at the expenses and ledger tab. And once again, I can also change the order of these items, or if it does not have a lock, meaning that it's in use in the database, I can delete it. And with most of these dialog boxes, I can generate a report. Under bank accounts, we have account assignments. Double clicking, these are four accounting accounts. 
if you will, that we have mapped automatically in financial reports in the ProCare desktop software. A business does not have to use these. They can change them if they, they want to. They cannot rename them in here. They would have to go back to their chart of accounts. If they want to rename their accounts receivable, they would have to change it in the chart of accounts, or they can create a new one and set it up here. But you'll notice this will only let me choose ones or 1000s, which are assets. Profit and loss is also sometimes known as returning to earnings. I could, if I wanted to, have any profit and loss mapped to owner's equity. I could also have it mapped to something that some businesses refer to as paid in capital. So this is up to the business to decide if they want to change or create a new equity account. But by default, we map it to profit and loss. Accounts payable is a 2000 or a liability. And it's mapped to accounts payable by default. And once again, a business can set this up so that's used any way that they seem necessary or what makes them most sense to them. Underneath account assignments, you have your general ledger dates. I double click on it. What this allows a business to do is automatically generate dates so that when they run a financial report, they can just choose either the year or a month without having to manually type it in. So there are two ways I can enter dates in these general ledger dates, I can type up here manually, enter the name and the start and end date. But a quicker way is to click on autofill. I currently have the year 2021. So I want to enter 2022. So if I hit continue, you see it populates my dates here for 2022. And if my fiscal year ends June 30th, and begins July 1st, I can change this to whatever my fiscal year is for my business. And just with every other dialog box in ProCare Desktop, I can change the order of certain items if I wish to, or I can delete them. If I click Save and Exit, now I have 2022 when I run my financial reports. So you notice under the heading Accounting Management, when I open it up, it has some subheadings, family accounting, employee data, payroll, expenses, and ledgers. In other training videos, we'll cover how the chart of accounts is mapped to descriptions or items that are created in different configurations in each one of these modules. So throughout these training videos, we'll be referring back to the chart of accounts and how you can map different descriptions in ProCare Desktop. So when you generate a financial report to give to an accountant, or if you want to import it into another accounting package, you can set them up so they're more specific or they make more sense.